it's starting to get too easy at this point. this boy <laughs> Pat 0.4 is on his final descent as I put the finishing touches on one of my biggest accomplishments yet I'm proud to say that the next update will definitely include an active referee who will start and conclude each round while keeping order throughout the fight When your opponent is down, the referee will deduct the point if you take too long to get to a neutral corner. You'll also lose a point if you return to the down fighter before he gets back to his feet. The navigation of the referee truly took my critical thinking skills to the next level. So let's talk about how I taught him how to monitor the fights without getting in the way. In one of my pre-launch live streams, I made a huge upgrade to the AI navigation logic. Look at it, he's not coming near me no more. This dude refuses to come near me. Okay, now watch. The elusive movement logic in the Alpha 2 demo instructed him to endlessly navigate to random points in the ring. By the end of that stream, his new instructions were to calculate the distance of each point from the user, create an updating list of points that are at safe distances, and choose a random point in that group to navigate to. This worked out beautifully because he avoided every point near the fighter creating the elusive behavior I desired. Since the referee inherits from the same AI script, he behaves in a similar way with his only movement option being elusive and his reference point being the point that sits perfectly between the fighters. This logic worked out great, but it's flawed. The fact that he chooses a random point sometimes causes him to choose a point really far from the fighters. On the surface level, this is perfect, but not in the context of a referee because he needs to keep his distance while staying close enough to keep order. This also would cause him to cut between the fighters to reach his target. This is because AI navigation is programmed to identify the obstacles in its path and choose the shortest possible route. The latest update to the elusive movement logic instructs the referee to compare the distance of each safe point from each fighter individually and choose the nearest point. This keeps him at a perfect distance to monitor the fight without getting in the way. But there's still one big issue. He can still cut between the fighters to reach his point. The pressing issue is that he technically has no idea he's doing that. So how do I make him aware of it? The beautiful thing about game development is that there's more than one way to skin a cat. Who the hell is skinning cats, bruh? The first thing I tried was to add a sphere trigger around the focus point. I made the sphere just big enough to encapsulate the fighters acting as an invisible gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. This is the gun line. <laughs> Y'all too young for that. When he crosses the threshold, he'll be forced to choose a new point. Here's the problem. He can still choose a point that causes him to cut between us. If so, the cycle repeats itself and he'll be stuck in an endless loop of indecisiveness, pretty much making him a deer in the headlights. Mm. This ain't gonna work. What if I use that same trigger to force him to navigate to the furthest safe point in his list? Sounds good in theory, but what if that point is across the ring? Mm. This means we're running into the same issues all over again. So let's take a few steps back and find the real issue here. Since the AI script is what runs this logic, the updates also apply to Sweatsuit Lane, with slight differences of course.
Overall, his elusive movement has actually improved because he's no longer barreling through the user to reach a point across the ring. He's now moving to the nearest safe point away from the user, meaning that he's on the back foot while staying close enough to engage if necessary. The referee is doing the exact same thing in reference to the center point. So the real issue is that he needs awareness of the space between the fighters, and he also needs to declare this space a no-fly zone. What if that space is never available in the first place? Abra could Abra. So in order to make this space unavailable to the referee, I had to I Oh, now you didn't think it was going to be that easy, now did you? See, here's the thing with that. When Undisputed was approaching early access, we were expecting referee Kenny Bayless in the ring, and they failed to deliver. He's there at the beginning of the fight. He's there for the 10 count, but he's nowhere to be found during the fight, even after the full release. Look. Look. The decision to leave him out of the ring could have been made for a number of reasons. Their development team is huge, so surely it's not because they couldn't figure out how to keep him from between the fighters. For as complicated as it was for me, the solution was actually pretty damn simple as it ironically always is. But if it's truly something that they can't figure out, why would I just give them the answers to the test when I'm the one who studied all night? Especially since I applied for a job with them over a year ago and I wasn't even worth a response even though they've been watching me all this time. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Let's just see who has the better December update. With multiple shoe options in the game now, my inventory system is already in its final stages and soon you'll be able to customize your player like never before. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. If you haven't gotten BKSB yet, you can get it for 50% off until December 4th. And I'd take advantage of that if I were you because the price ain't never going to be this low again. Or you can keep waiting around, waiting to see more and end up paying the full price when you finally decide to jump on the bandwagon. Either way you getting scammed, just rip the bandaid off.